I, I love this film so much. It's, uh, you have to explain to everyone if they don't know, if they haven't seen it, what it is. It's about an incredibly brave group of men and women who were the first to act up and raise awareness about the disease that would later become known as AIDS. But it's really about love. It's about a community that decided to save itself because society was pretty much universally shunning them, ignoring them. And um, they saved each other through love. Uh, as hard as that was, given the many different points of view in the gay community at the time, they banded together and ultimately gave us uh, a lot of the civil rights that we have today. And you heard about the story, I understand, when you were 14 years old. Yeah, I read it. We had a, a, a great drama teacher who would order the plays that were going on and off Broadway, and I found this play when I was 14, and I thought, what is this about? And I read it, and my, my world changed. You know, it changed my entire worldview and educated me, and, and I'm sure on some level saved my life, not just in the fact that it encouraged me to be, practice safe sex, but also in the fact that, um, you know, I knew that somewhere out there there was somebody who understood me and, and would stand by me and, and, and stand up for me, and, that, and Larry Kramer represented that for me. And, and the fact that you would read that at 14 and end up in the movie is, <laughs> it's is wild. We see your character, which we just showed uh, at, at your healthiest, and yeah. then you ended up losing, did I read 35 pounds? I stopped weighing myself at 35. We still had a ways to go in production. I was on the diet, so I'm, I'm sure it was more than that. But even though my energy was really low and sometimes just standing up and, and walking across the room was a, a challenging task, I really had such an appreciation for life, and that's what I tried to bring to the character, not a sense of, oh, this is terrible to have this little energy, but just to try to get squeeze all the juice out of life that I could. Yeah, well, actually, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so Ryan Murphy cried when he saw you, I understand, which I don't blame him. I mean, it really is. It's a, it's a very uh, beautiful movie, and it is about love, but it's heartbreaking and hard to watch sometimes. But I understand Defense of Marriage Act was overturned when you yes. were filming. That must have been an incredible moment. It was amazing to be there on that day, and it was one of the celebratory scenes we got to shoot in the film, which, thank God, because I was doing that, like, Kevin Bacon, like, <laughs> elbow to knee dance that day, and I was doing a little extra hard because I was so excited. Um, but Larry was there, and he, he took the microphone, Larry Kramer, who, who wrote the piece, and uh, he said, we did it. And in so many ways, he was partly responsible for that day happening. So it was just one of those moments where you feel like you're in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I bet. Now, were you that thin when you celebrated, or were you no, healthier? No, I was oh, good, in you healthy could, mode. Good, because yeah. you probably couldn't have done that when you were that thin. <laughs> I couldn't have done the jerk. All right, I'm going to help you out. I understand you have, you've been kind of reluctant to start your Twitter account. Yes. You need to start your Twitter Let's account. Let's do it. And uh, so what we're going to do is you're going to hold this. We're going to take a picture. Oh, this is great. All right, awesome. so we'll start your Twitter account. Oh